Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to this tutorial on uh, how to build a website from start to finish. And in this video, we're actually gonna be taking a look at some of the tasks I set up in the previous video. So uh, one of the tasks that we have set up here under the planning phase is to do some research on UIKit because UIKit is a technology that I wanna use for this tutorial and it's a pretty awesome front-end framework. Uh, so if you guys don't know what a front-end framework is, then basically Basically, um, the best example I can give you guys is Bootstrap. Bootstrap is a front-end framework and UIKit is very, very similar. Uh, although, I think Bootstrap, if you had to compare Bootstrap and UIKit, uh, UIKit is kind of like Bootstrap on steroids. There is a lot of uh, really awesome functionality that is in UIKit that just isn't really available in uh, Bootstrap or isn't even available in some other front-end frameworks that I know of, like uh, Google has Materialize CSS, uh, which is also a pretty good front-end framework, but uh, I don't think it has anywhere near the same functionality that UIKit does. So let's go over to UIKit's website, which is getuikit.com. And if you guys go to this website, you're gonna see this little beta symbol next to the logo. And that's because UIKit has UIKit version three right now. So right down here at the bottom, you see it says version three. And unfortunately, this is still in beta, which means it's not finished yet. And because it's not finished yet, Yet, there's a lot of functionality that's in UIKit 3 or that's supposed to be in UIKit 3 that isn't actually available to us just yet. So unfortunately, uh, UIKit 3 is not what we're gonna be using for this tutorial series just because, well, yeah, uh, it's not finished yet. But what I would like to do is use UIKit 2. So go ahead and click on that link in the bottom of the website over here. Uh, and this is very, very, very important, right? Click on this link because if you don't, if you don't use UIKit 2 and you instead decide to use UIKit 3, there's a lot of stuff that's not going to be available. Your tutorials are probably not gonna work and you're gonna leave some comments below my video saying that your tutorials are not working. So yeah, just make sure that you use UIKit 2. Uh, in fact, I'm going to leave the link to UIKit 2 in the video description below so uh, that you guys go directly to UIKit 2. But uh, yeah, uh, from UIKit 2, you can see that uh, you've got the option to download it and it's got some um, other information about the features and what's available, but I'll let you guys read that uh, when you have time. But for now, uh, let's go over to the Get Started tab and this is obviously gonna explain to you guys how to download UIKit and implement it on your site. Uh, it works very much the same way as Bootstrap actually, so you can just click the download button, download the code, and if you scroll slightly further down the page, um, you can see an example of how it's supposed to be, be implemented. So pretty much exactly the same as Bootstrap. Uh, you uh, link to the CSS and then you also make sure that you've included uh, jQuery and then you can also link to UIKit. Uh, and that's going to allow you to make use of all these really cool slideshows and things that uh, UIKit has available to, to us. Right, you can also use a... Uh, um, uh, CDN. So basically here are some links to UIKit in a CDN. Unfortunately, you can't just copy and post paste these links because they have X's where the version number should be. Uh, I feel like somebody should be updating that instead of um, leaving X's there, but you know, oh well. All right, uh, now something else that you will find interesting about UIKit is they have their own video tutorials available. So if you guys are ever struggling to follow along with one of my videos, you can watch some of their videos and see um, basically how to actually get UIKit working as well. Um, but yeah, once you've gone through with their videos, you can come back to my videos and learn how to actually build a project with this. So let's go over to the core tab here. And uh, yeah, the core tab obviously is gonna tell us, or the core menu item, uh, is gonna tell us what we can actually do with UIKit. So um, yeah, uh, in the core, it's basically just speaking about breakpoints because of course UIKit is responsive. I mean, it wouldn't be a front-end framework or a modern front-end framework if it wasn't. Um, and uh, yeah, there's some other information here if you wanna go ahead and read through all of that. But I just wanna point, point out some of the important bits. So. Uh, one of the important bits is definitely the grid. Uh, so if you have used uh, Bootstrap in the past, then you'll know that you can make columns using Bootstrap. So col MD6 
would allow you to have uh, two columns that take up half a screen each. If you did uh, col md3, you could have uh, four columns that took up three uh, co columns each basically, but four columns uh, next to each other on a page. Right, so UIKit uh, has a similar kind of functionality, except the classes have slightly different names and they work kind of like a fraction does. So uh, you've got UK with one of one, which will take up the whole screen, uh, or UK with one of two, which takes up half the screen. So one of two, half the screen, right? Uh, UK with one of three, and so on and so forth. And so here are some examples of that uh, being laid out. So one of three, each one of these takes up one third. Uh, one of two, each one of these takes up a half. And then you can also just like uh, put together some of the fractions. So three of 10 and seven of 10 kind of makes a small sidebar and then a main section. Um, and yeah, uh, pretty useful stuff, uh, very easy to use. And uh, I recommend checking it out when you can. Uh, but yeah, just read up about this if you have some time. Uh, I'm not going to focus too much on this right now because I want to highlight some of the really important things about UIKit. So if we uh, take a look at the block section and the panel section, these are some CSS uh, functionalities that we have available to us in UIKit. So we've got this primary block over here and then we've got a secondary block and so on. Um, very nice for being able to create layouts and we're definitely gonna be using this functionality in my tutorial series. So remember the class UK block because I'm probably gonna be using that quite a bit. Right, uh, but if we scroll a little bit further down the page, there's obviously some navigation setups with make, which make navigation a little bit easier as well. Uh, and we'll be taking a look at this and I will definitely explain this in more detail uh, later on in the tutorial series. But yeah, basically we have some uh, nav bar options here. Uh, and then if we scroll all the way down to the bottom to some of the JavaScript options, uh, you can see that we've got uh, something called a scroll spy or a scroll spy. And uh, yeah, this basically uh, watches for as your uh, page scrolls and then um, makes some animations. So if you look at the bottom of the screen over here, as I scroll, uh, you can see some of these things start sliding up and sliding to the right or fading in. Um, and yeah, these are really cool animations to have. In fact, if we scroll a little bit further down, you can have a whole bunch of them fade in um, uh, over time. So with a slight delay. And uh, yeah, we're probably gonna try and make a, find a way to use this in my tutorial series. So uh, that's cool. And uh, one of the other things that I wanna show you guys that's really cool and something that we're definitely gonna be using is uh, under the components tab, um, there are things like uh, slideshows and parallax effects. Uh, so uh, the slideshow is quite interesting because uh, if we scroll past this first slideshow down to the next one, uh, this one is actually functional. And uh, yeah, it's uh, very easy to implement, very easy to use. It's just kind of throwing in this code onto our page. Uh, now here's the big difference, right? Is UIKit uh, 2 currently has a working slideshow. Whereas if you went over to UIKit 3, and you click the getting started page, and you looked for, um, a slideshow over here. Uh, let's go over to components. Uh, you'll probably find there isn't even a setting for slideshow. Uh, so yeah. Oh wait, there we go. Let's see. Here it is. But uh, I don't think they actually have a working one set up just yet. So yeah. Um, this literally wasn't even here a couple weeks ago. So uh, this is obviously a new update to their beta version. And uh, yeah, they used to have the slide nav, which was available. Um, and the slide show wasn't actually working for quite some time, but I see they have updated this. But like I said, it's currently in beta. So uh, some of the stuff that wasn't even working about a month ago, uh, is now working. Going back to UIKit 2, there are a few other features that are uh, here that are in quite interesting. So um, there is a sticky ma uh, nav item or a sticky div. So basically like you can have it once you scroll up to a menu or a, a div that it becomes sticky and it sticks to the top of the browser as you can see. And then you can have others that stick a certain distance from the top. Uh, or one that only starts sticking after you've scrolled 
100 pixels past it. So right now it's not sticking, but as soon as you scroll, there we go, it's stuck. Uh, so uh, yeah, a whole bunch of really cool settings available in UIKit. And uh, we're gonna try and make use of a lot of these in, our, in the tutorial series. And that's all I have for you guys in this video. So before I end this video off, I just wanna send a huge shout out to my current patrons who contribute $5 or more every single month on Patreon. And that goes a long way to helping me make more videos for you guys more often. So if you feel like these videos are uh, a valuable service to you, if you feel like you're learning a lot from these videos and you feel like it's worth something, go ahead and check out my Patreon page and you can contribute as well. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and share this video because that's really gonna help my channel grow. And I'll see you guys next time.